think these are going to smell like gin because gin comes from juniper. And they're all... Bear with me on this. So if you, if you take the leaf and you kind of look down it, it looks like a cross, kind of cruciform. Y'all see that? It's a good ID characteristic. So if you take the leaf and you kind of look at, look, I don't know how to describe that, but if you look on it, it looks like a cross. Y'all see that? Kind of. Is this the only characteristic? No. <laughs> the only one, no. No, no. It's going to be really glaucous, really white, blue foliage, more so than most of your other evergreens that we're going to learn. Um, so note the smell. It has a more pungent smell than most do. Look at the cruciform when you look on the leaf. The blue green or the blue white foliage. It's kind of more greener inside the canopy. Oh, looks like a bird's nest. Um, also, I saw some out here this morning. Oh yeah, smell again. Right here is the male cones. Y'all see the tips where it's kind of got yellow. It's the male. Mm -hmm. Male reproductive structures That's right there. Monogel. Is it dioecious or? Um, I don't think so. It's monoecious, yeah. The pines are actually pretty difficult to tell apart. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's one way. So if you look at the leaf. Three. And you've got it's called. This is called. See how they're grown off in little like spur sections. Oh, they're three. Bundles. Three. This is called a fascicle. So this and the entity is called a fascicle. And one way to tell some of the pines apart is there'll be fascicles of twos, rarely threes, or threes, rarely twos, or a pretty good mixture of twos and threes. This particular one is mostly threes, rarely twos. Um, the cone is going to be a medium-sized cone with a sharp umbel and so this little thing right here is called an umbel that makes up there's a bunch of them that make up the cone and if you look real close see how it's got a really sharp point underneath the umbel this one is gonna have kind of a twisted nature to the leaves to the the needles um, it's gonna be darker green and it's going to be mostly twos, rarely threes. And the Japanese black pine is going to have an elongated candle. But that, that's the uh, bud, right? The, yeah. The thing that she's rubbing. That's <laughs> 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 why you said it. <laughs> so, you saw that that wasn't necessarily prominent on the loblolly. <laughs> and it kind of grows out of the tip, so this one's starting to grow, and will eventually get longer as the season progresses. Slash pine. So, gonna have the biggest cone. The umbel is not as sharp. It is a little sharp, but not quite as sharp as the um, loblolly here. Um, the foliage is going to be darker green in color, definitely more dense, long needles, which are going to be longer than the uh, Japanese black. Um, you're going to have a mixture of twos and threes, depending on the tree. Um, the needles are going to be shinier. And they're also kind of, the habit of them is kind of, they look kind of like a foxtail. Real dense. A lot more dense than the loblolly. It's going to have very whitish blue foliage to it. As you can see. Um, it's going to kind of look similar to pine. But much shorter needles. 
I can't find it on my reference. Oh, Much shorter needles. Sure. So the leaves kind of come out of one side of the stem. You can see that. Yeah. And they look like they kind of yeah. curve around. Like yeah, I guess. Um, but definitely the biggest giveaway is the color. Um, also, if you look, there's fruiting structures on the back side of the stem. Small globular fruiting structures. I like how this plant's really organized. It is. It does. It looks like it's just very clean looking. Yeah. Clean See the fruiting structures? This is going to have kind of a typical green, you know, lighter green, newer growth, kind of darker green, older growth. But very short, spiraled um, foliage. It's alternately spiraled around the stem. Um, you can't really see the stem. It kind of all blends together. The base of the needle will clasp the stem. So kind of looks all like it's big one big entity and the needle will arch towards the stem and this is going to be a mixture of all and scale and it looks like right here it's mostly all mm -hmm. which is similar to So, where are, this is all I Yeah, this is all. We'll look at scale. This I don't really see that much on here. We'll look at scale more so on the junipers. That's completely scale. So, I can't find it in my sheet. Do what? Um, it is a intergeneric cross, which is why the X, the scientific name, is at the beginning. It's two, between two genera. It's going to be a very narrow, upright growing tree. Very little smell. Um, it typically has more of a green color to the foliage, but it's kind of root bound. Justified. Common Douglas fir, Pseudo Suga, Menzii. So this one is going to have, look at the cones. They look like sugar maple cones. So they kind of look like imbricate maple cones. Conical. Cones are bugs. Those, Those are cones. Those are cones. Little baby cone? Yeah. Little baby cones. Um, they're gonna have. They're gonna be typically whiter. It's more of a whitish color, especially on the back side of the needle. So if you look at it and then turn it over, it looks a little bit more whiter. Whiter, not wider. Um, yeah. It has a very, it's got a very tangerine like smell to the leaf. Is it more defined than Is it more pungent? You've got two white lines oh, that bad boy. running along the back of the leaf. In Hemlock, would Romeo and Juliet um, die from or something? Mm. Remember they drank something yeah, and had Hemlock was, in it? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. So, that's going to be your biggest <laughs> ID characteristic right there. So glad. Right. Two white leaves, two white lines on the back side of the, the leaf. Okay. So, hopefully that's a big help. So, Aracaria. Horizontal branching. And if you look at the new growth, it's much lighter green than the older growth. The leaves are really flat, kind of a leathery plastic texture with a very sharp point at the end of the leaf. 
it kind of hurts to touch a little bit. Um, some of the leaves kind of will pop up vertically. You can kind of see here and here. They kind of pop up vertically along the stem. Um, it's got just a very horizontal growing habit. Um, that's basically the, the main ID characteristics about Aracaria.